Right, it's week two of the fantasy footy forfeit battle uh, between Arsenal Fan TV, the Redmen TV and Ball Street. Remember that the loser, the person who's got the lowest score after a month has to do a massive forfeit. And I ain't up to this forfeit stuff because I know them lot, they'll come up with some craziness, right? So I'm doing my best to avoid it. Week one, now check this out now. This is just like, it's typical Liverpool, yeah? Typical Liverpool fans. Now, I think the scoring from week one was that Ball Street won it. The Liverpool guys, Red Men TV now, they're trying to tell me that I came last because there was a little glitch on my thing and my team didn't register through properly. So, in typical Liverpool Scouser style, they're trying to tell me now that I came last. Well, don't worry. Um, I'm in con contact with the Mondo goals, guys. They're sorting out my points, but I know I got more points than them last week, so I shouldn't have finished bottom. But listen, I need a good week this week. I need a good week. So let's get the team together. Let me see um, what I can do this week, right? So, right. Oh. So you know what? Starting off in goal, I'm keeping faith, even though I thought to myself last week, the safest possible bet I could have was put better check in my team. Right? The guy hardly lets any goals in at Chelsea. What does he go and do in the first game of the season? He goes and has a nightmare. He won't have a nightmare two weeks in a row. I know we're up against Palace, but I'm keeping faith with Czech. He's going to keep a clean sheet. I know it's at Palace. Nobody's expecting a clean sheet at Palace. Everybody's expecting Arsenal to either get turned over or draw. I don't know. I think we're going to bounce back. So I'm going for Petr Cech in goal. Now, in defence, I've gone for um, I've gone for Ashley Williams uh, from Swansea. I was really, really imp impressed by uh, Swansea last week in their game against Chelsea, and they're at home, at home for the first time, and they're playing Newcastle. And Newcastle, I don't know. Newcastle got a load of new players. And even though they've got Papi Cissé up front and players like that, I just don't think they're going to threaten that Swansea defence. So I'm going Ashley Williams, who only cost me £6.5 million. Vincent Company, a bargain at £4.7 million. Vincent Company, I can't go wrong. I know they're up against Chelsea, but that Chelsea forward line at the moment is lacking. So I think Company will be all right. And I've gone for Dejan Lovren, 7.4 million. I don't know how it comes. He's so expensive. But my faith is mainly in the fact that they're playing Bournemouth. And I just can't see Bournemouth getting anything out of that game against Liverpool. So Lovren, that's my back three. Now, in midfield now, I've gone for an ultra-attacking midfield. I've learnt my lesson from last week. I had too many defensive midfielders in there. I was, like, running off a of nostalgia. But I've learnt my lesson now. Yaya Torre, I spent big on him. 12.9 million is a midfielder who scores a lot of goals. So I've got faith in him. Coutinho, who scored for me last week. That's how can I be down? And I had Coutinho in my team last week. Coutinho, 12.6 million. Aaron Ramsey, 11.9 million. Another goal scoring midfielder. I can see him getting a goal against Crystal Palace. And Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain, I'm keeping faith in him. I saw some little signs last week that I liked. At 8 million, absolute bargain. Now, check out my front three. Last week, I went real big with guys like Aguero and that, but Aguero's not back to full fitness yet. Plus, he's going to be up against that Chelsea defence, so there's no guarantees that he'll get a goal. So I'm going for Batafemi Gomez, who I think will give that Newcastle defence, which ain't all that, a lot of problems away there at Swansea. I can definitely see him scoring. Jermaine Defoe, I'm going for. All right, I know ex-Tottenham. I don't really like to uh, pick. Well, he's not Tottenham no more. So we just discount that. But Sunderland are at home. I know everybody's writing off Sunderland after last week, but they had different proposition at home. And they're up against Norwich. And I can see Defoe scoring. He scored last week, remember, in that defeat. For 8.3 million to me, Bargain. Goal scorer, he's in. And then I've kept faith again in Christian Benteke, 7.5 million. The reason why I've done that is because I'm thinking to myself, they're at home, Liverpool, as I said, against Bournemouth. Benteke's first home game. I think those Bournemouth 
defenders are going to find Benteke a real handful at Anfield and uh, I fancy him to score. So that's my team. What do you think? I'm liking it. I'm liking it. I'm confident this week that we're going to do good. Okay, so listen, let me check out now their teams. Uh, Ball Street, them cocky lot. That guy Lawrence, I'll tell you, he's doing me head in. So cocky last week just because they got the victory. Um, but let me check out his team and see what his team's up to. Right, he's gone for Lucas Fabianski in goal. Not a bad shout, as I said. They're up against Newcastle, uh, Swansea. So you could definitely see them, um, you know, doing all right with that. In defence, he's gone for um, Alder Wilder uh, for Tottenham. Okay. Uh, Dawson at West Brom and Skirtle. Uh, he's gone in there at 7.1 million. So that's not a bad back three. Um, then he's got Cortino in the midfield. Yeah, yeah, I can see that. Christian Eriksen, all right, Eriksen might get a goal in that game. Uh, John Joe Shelby and Dimitri Paye, he's gone for 14.3 million. That's not a bad midfield, but I fancy my midfield more than that. I think my midfield's um, a bit stronger than that. Um, and then up front, he's gone Sacco, um, of course, West Ham at home. You know what? West Ham's just the sort of team that after beating us, that might let you down. So they might slip up with that. Uh, Sado Berahino, 9.7 million. And they followed me and they've got Ben Teke. So they're, all, they're playing it smart. They've got three uh, Liverpool players in there. They've got a couple of Swansea players in there. But I just got a sneaky feeling that those West Ham players might let them down. I know what West Ham are like. They'll smash it one week. Then the next week, when all their fans are up for it and the bubbles are flying... Pop, 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 pop. They all get popped. Now let's check out Redmen TV, the Liverpool mob. Let's see what they've come up with. They messed up straight away. Straight away they've messed up, yeah? Because they've got McCarthy in goal, right? From Crystal Palace. Now, that's very disrespectful. They see us get, Arsenal get a defeat on the first weekend. And they're thinking that McCarthy, what, are they honestly thinking McCarthy is going to keep a clean sheet? Just because we didn't score last week. Just because it was a terrible result. Don't you know that Arsenal always bounce back off of those terrible results? That, you've messed up straight away, Paul. Chris. <laughs> well done, well done, boys. You, know, you lot never let me down. Right, so McCarthy in goal for them. Ashley Williams at the back, who I also went for. Wolves Child. Um, 5.6 million. Vincent Company. I went for Company as well. So that's not bad. Midfield, they've gone John Joe Shelby. Um, 8.1 million. Swansea. Jordan Henderson. Jordan Henderson don't score goals. Right? But they've gone Jordan Henderson. 9.1 million. Dimitri Paye. Okay, that's not bad. 14.3 14 14 million. Expensive Paye after his goal last week. Um, they're up against Leicester, so I suppose they can score goals. But as I said, West Ham, you never know with them. And then they've gone Edin Hazard, 16.7 million. I don't know. I would have steered a bit clearer of that because he's up against Manchester City. It's not a given that Hazard will have a great game or score. He still seems to be finding his feet a bit for me. And uh, up front, Barbosa de Oliveira. 8.3 million, I think his real name is Roberto Firmino. Um, but he changed his name because he's up in Liverpool and uh, he wants to keep his car safe. But <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> that's a joke, that's a joke, that's a joke, right? I've got to go up to Liverpool soon. That's a joke, that's a joke. Right. Um, Olivia Giroud. Now, that's a good shout because I think Louis Giroud will bounce back. Uh, why you got Giroud then playing up front and then in goal, you've got Palace keeper? Oh, this, I don't know. And then they've gone, uh, oh, <laughs> oh, Raheem Sterling, Liverpool fans. That's who your channel are backing up front. Raheem Sterling for 10.5 million. Yeah, that's who they're backing up front. Oh, loyalty. <laughs> okay, okay. So that's uh, Redmen TV's team. I think mine's is better than that, definitely. But that's their team. So there you have it. You've got my team. You've got Ball Street's team. 
You've got uh, Redmen TV, the Liverpool guys team. If you want to enter your team, just have a look in the links below. Uh, there's two leagues. You can enter the free league or you can enter the paid league. You put £2 in. So enter those leagues. But um, And also, you know what I'd like you to do? At the end of the month, as I said, the loser, person with the lowest points, has got to do a forfeit. Give us your forfeit suggestions in the comments. What would you like to see people doing as a forfeit? Um, I've got a few that I've come up with already that I would like to see a couple of those guys doing. And don't forget to enter your Mondo Goal team in the Fantasy League footy forfeit battle. Hi, do you know a deserving Arsenal fan? An Arsenal fan who, I don't know, doesn't get to go to games regularly. Um, an Arsenal fan who goes to games regularly and, you know, you want to, you know, do something for him and just, I don't know, give him some sort of reward. Uh, a fan who, I don't know, does, never gets recognised for some of the things, the great things that he does for the club or for his great support that he's shown for the club over the years. I don't know, somebody who's sick or ill, who, I don't know, anybody that you think is a deserving fan, leave it in the comments below or send us an email at arsefantv at gmail.com and tell us who that person is for our brand new feature that we're doing called Guna Family.